Muslim mayor celebrates canceling Trump visit. Smile fades when he sees what's in the crowd. By Don, the conservative politics world news for madworldnews.com. After President Donald Trump canceled a visit to the UK, London's Muslim mayor, Sadiq Khan, uh, took full credit for banning the U.S. leader. However, just as he was celebrating his pathetic victory, he encouraged something in the crowd that quickly made him regret it. Ever since President Donald Trump was elected, Sadiq Khan, who is London's first Muslim mayor, has used his platform to viciously censure the U.S. leader. Along with the typical leftist verbal attacks, Khan has campaigned to have Trump banned from the UK and even sided with left-leaning British politicians who demanded the American president's arrest if he stepped foot in England. Do you see what's going on here? While flooding his own city with thousands of dangerous, unvetted migrants, who might I add that the taxpayers are paying for, of London, who are often military-age Muslim males, Khan has reportedly lambasted Trump as a racist and Islamophobe for taking measures to secure U.S. borders. Although, uh, he has welcomed uh, he has welcomed in Islamic terrorists. Yeah, the Muslim mayor recently took credit for getting President Trump to cancel his scheduled UK visit, uh, conceitedly boasting that the U.S. president got the message. Unfortunately for Khan, a meeting with President Trump would be a delight, considering the encounter he instead received during his arrogant self-congratulatory speech. Shortly after uh, Mayor Sadiq Khan took the stage at a left-wing uh, Fabian Society, Londoners holding American flags and anti-EU signs disrupted his speech to issue a citizen's arrest, showcasing the Britons are increasingly waking up to Khan's liberal policies, which are devastating the capital city, but that's what they want. According to Breitbart, during a mo monumental protest, demonstrators shouted down Khan with a reading from the Magna Carta accusing the Muslim mayor of subverting the English Constitution. And that's exactly what he's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to make a nonviolent, peaceful citizen's arrest, said a man who opened the protest by standing up and reading a statement according to Sky News. We stand under common law jurisdiction, the demonstrator expressed before, turning to approaching security officers. If you touch us, you'll be done for common assault. Please stand back. Do not touch us. We're not leaving. We've paid for a ticket. The Paramount demonstration came in response to Sadiq Khan's personal campaign against President Trump, in which he took credit for the U.S. leader's last-minute decision to cancel his trip to the U.K. Now Khan is facing a massive backlash as more Londoners are siding with Trump and his political incorrect policies. Sky News political correspondent, uh, correspondent Laura Bundock said the protesters had been sitting right at the front of the room and delayed the start of Mr. Khan's speech for 15 minutes. The group told her the PMs had broken their oaths of office, adding that they were employed by us, the people, and should do as we say. The protest embodied Khan's dwindling approval and the rise of Trump supporters in the wake of increasing terror attacks, migrant crimes, and economic hardship caused by the Muslim mayor's policies. In fact, just after calling for Trump to be banned, Khan faced an official report from his own police and crime office showing that nearly every area of crime has skyrocketed since his 2016 mayoral election. 
despite claims by Khan in March of 2017 that London is the safest global city in the world and one of the safest cities in the world, the latest crime statistics show youth homicides are up by an astonishing 70%. Total homicides are up by 27.1%. Serious youth violence, 19%. Robbery, 33.4%. And burglaries, 18.7% among a host of other double-digit rises. The crucial protest fail, uh, falls on the heels uh, of Breitbart uh, London editor-in-chief Rahim Kassam's uh, interview with Sky News in which he lambasted Khan's hypocrisy over Trump's controversial wording while personally turning London into a crap hole. During the Sky News interview, Kassam, and Kassam uh, accused the mainstream media of personally ignoring Khan's disastrous crime rate increases. Now that's surprising because he sounds like he's Muslim too and he's disgusted. How much youth homicide went, uh, went up uh, in London last year? You have told your viewers that. 70%. You, uh, have you looked at the mayor's uh, police and crime report from December 12th? If you look at that, almost every measure out of 42, only in four did crime go down. In every single other area, there were double-digit rises in crimes uh, against, in, against London, making his reflection on the London mayor uh, increasing concern with matters of state. Uh, instead of effectively running the city he was elected to lead, Kassam concluded, to borrow a phrase from Donald Trump, London is turning into a crap hole under Sadiq Khan. Well, that is surprising. That is surprising. Uh, they, we're not finished yet, but let's take a quick look. It doesn't, they actually escort the protesters out, though. I'm sorry, you're wasting everybody's time, though. Perhaps if you could sit down, gentlemen, we could then continue with our It's not filled with people. Well, even the the writer here, uh, what's his name, who seems like he's Muslim. I think he's even Rahim Kassam's interview. Uh, I think he was actually. Uh, disgusted with how Khan uh, is handling the city of London. So that tells you a lot, right? Londoners as well as the Europeans are starting to wake up to the devastating liberal policies that they once believed would bring them peace, love, and prosperity. Although the liberal elitists are focusing their disdain on President Donald Trump's brazenly political incorrectness, the people are seeing through the feigned outrage and agreeing with the American leaders' policies over their own elected officials. And I'm more than sure they weren't actually elected. Again, voter fraud took place because the globalists, this is who they want in power to destroy the nations of the world in order to make it a slum area for everybody. You get what I'm saying? Because if you see 
the the editor for uh, Breitbart News. Um, again, I forget his name. Uh, that he's disgusted. That that Raheem Kassam. Uh, you know, you can only just imagine if he's disgusted what's going on in London. And I feel so sorry for the people that have to uh, take this crap in London from this idiot in charge. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.